Welcome. This is the first of the uh, hopefully many videos I'll be creating as an amateur golfer. So really the point of this whole exercise is for me to go out and show you what it's like to be your average Joe, run of the mill kind of teen, avid golfer. Someone who's probably bitten off a bit more than they can chew by attempting to make videos. I'm here in Stanthorpe, this is my home course. I grew up here, um, playing a lot more golf in Brisbane lately, but uh, it's lovely to be back and the course is looking really nice, it's really green and in fact the, uh, it's probably the best we've seen in a long time. So it is a second hole I'm standing on and I am about 105 metres out, it's about a 370 metre par 4 up the hill. I'm going to see what I can do. nervous. The green is over there if you can't see it because of the uh, terrible phone I'm using. Basically it's slightly uphill, 110 out. I've got pitching wedge. Now if I hit this really hard it's going to go through the green so to be fair I'm just looking to get this damn thing anywhere on the green or near the green. So uh, let's just see what happens. Not much wind, so it shouldn't do much. And that has landed centre right of the green and left me about a 15, 15 20 foot putt for bird. Atrocious six. All right. So I started off with bogey. I've had a six on the second, which is awful because I was on the green for two. Um, so I don't really know if anyone's still going to be watching me after that. And now we are coming to the third hole, which is a uh, par three. It's about 115 meters. The border's on the uh, the back of the course, so if you hit long, you do go out of bounds. Um, but you've got to go a long way long, and we've got a headwind, so. Shouldn't be a problem hitting pitching wedge in there today. I have, so you can sort of see, hopefully, <laughs> I have about, uh, yeah, about 12 feet. It's not going to deviate very much. Anything 
going slightly left to right. It's, uh, it's quite long. Um, it's actually index one on this course. It's 400 meters. Now, one thing about country courses you've got to remember is, um, look, they may not have much, uh, you know, many dog legs or traps or hazards and things like that. Um, but what they obviously lack in that, they do compensate with uh, a bit of length. Especially if you're someone like me who's sort of trying to hit it upwards of 250 meters. Um, at the moment, we're not getting much run, so it's quite hard to kind of go past that. Well, I, I am anyway, I'm finding it very difficult. Um, but that's also because I'm just a woeful, woeful driver of the golf ball. this dead tree here. Someone's uh, been a bit humorous. Not ideal. Your allowed preferred lies at the moment at our course. So I'm going to show you that. <laughs> That's what I've been doing in all the videos. Um, This may not make it. it uh, six iron from here is probably a little bit of a challenge, although there's not much wind, so I can get onto it. Try to draw it in. Oh, just draw. Draw. Okay. Would have been on the green had it just turned around a bit. I'm not going to lie, um, I'm going to be very surprised if anyone's still watching by now. Uh, I can barely get my um, upper body in the frame, let alone my head. <laughs> so, I do apologise for the terrible filming. I'm kind of concentrating on both at once, um, trying to remember to press record, uh, and also just trying to remember that I'm actually playing golf and I've got to try to actually hit a shot, which is, I've probably said at least 30 times already, um, or at least I will by the end of this. It's quite difficult for me to hit a good shot. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how I've been recording stuff. Basically, I've just been taking the iPhone out, getting this water, which I've sort of been drinking as well, but I don't want to drink all of it because I kind of need the weight of it to uh, stabilise the uh, camera. Basically, I just put it down like this on the ground, get the uh, camera out and just kind of hope for the best. It's ideal if you can get a little tip and run going here. Uh, bump and run it into that hill is the idea. Hopefully not too big. And that's, oh, that's worked out really well. Oh! Up there. Right, there we go. That's where it's sort of up a little hill, knocked it up, and left yourself that path. I might leave it there actually. I might show you a few more videos. Um, I've only got an hour until I need to uh, be off taking my grandmother actually out to get a blood test. <sighs> what a great grandson.
I thought I'd just do a little recap now that I've actually finished nine, um, just show you my score. Um, so I ended up being all right. I ended up doing uh, about eight over, I think, which is pretty well what happens when you're a kind of B-grade golfer and you have a card that looks like that, where you've got one of those sevens with no points next to it. The six did not help on two. Um, but then you can see there, so I've had four pars. Um, pretty sure I'm right in saying three bogeys and uh, the one double and then the seventh hole there, which is obviously my unlucky number. Um, so, look, I'm pretty happy with that, considering it was a knock around and um, I kind of rushed it in order to uh, <laughs> rush back into town, which is sort of two kilometers that way.